Hey guys, um, so a couple people have been just asking lately how BC's been doing um, accessories lately, um, how we've been doing bundle pitching and stuff. Jack came and asked me about it. Um, so I figured I'd just give like a little rundown on exactly how we're doing things lately. Yeah. So starting first, um, I think one of the biggest areas that a lot of people have to improve on is uh, pitching what's profitable. It's really important to make sure that you know what phone you're selling before you come to sell it it's really important that you're pitching something that you can work with. Um, it's also really important to write fit the customer, but come up with a couple pre-made bundles for yourself, knowing your prices and everything, um, to be able to pitch to multiple types of customers. Um, just get a good idea of your customers and come up with a wider range of product to, uh, to pitch to them. The, the key step, number two, is, is, is the key to all this um, technique. It's bundle pricing. It's really important that People aren't scared of how much one number is. Um, people think that you pitch to a customer and you tell them $30 a month for the phone. And they're worried that that's where you're gonna lose them. You're not, you don't lose them on the single pricing. They came here because they want a phone or you're pitching to them and they took that pitch because inside they want it, you know, you, you know they want it. Um, whenever I pitch, I don't pitch the phone then this, then this, then this. You want one singular price that they're not afraid of. When I'm pitching an S10e, I consider the fact that they can get a wireless charger, a case, a screen protector, um, extra charging equipment, and an SD card, that all of those things are perfectly compatible and recommended to use with. Um, it's really important to use these together and know how much they cost before the customer comes in. It's really important to know these numbers because if you can tell them a flatline cost, it avoids a lot of their tension from you listing off individual prices of each accessory that's gonna, you know, every one you name grows their tension, they realize they're spending more and more money, and they're more likely to back down. Step three is assume your sale with an upsell. Don't ask the customer, do you wanna do this bundle or not? You know, it's up to you. You wanna make sure they are concrete in the idea before you even get to that point. And so you go through, pitch them their whole bundle, and then finish off with, how about, you know, you can add $5 a month onto the bundle and they offer it with a Bluetooth speaker. Pitch it with that, and then instead of stressing the speaker, don't stress them out with it, just say, do you wanna just stick with the regular bundle or are we going with the speaker? That way, their decision process is limited to that one choice. If they say no, him, just just let it go. It's fine. You have a huge bundle of accessories beforehand. You don't need to stress on a speaker to keep adding to it. Um, fourth super, super important step that I go through is you want to immediately stay quiet. When you're done with your pitch, when you've told them how much everything costs, don't keep adding to it. Don't keep throwing more stuff on the plate. It gets overwhelming. Big thing is don't prepare it for them. Don't go throw it on the counter yourself Put it in their hands. If you have the customer, ask them, will you kindly just uh, throw that over there on the counter where we were working earlier? If you throw it over there, have them put it in their own hands. If they put that on the counter, that is them in their minds confirming that this is something that they're getting. If they don't want to do it, they'll tell you about it. They'll tell you, I don't want to do it, I just want to do the phone today. And then, you know, that solves your problem. But it's better to make the extra effort, pull the stuff off the shelves, get the bundle ready to go, and then have them put it on there for it. It confirms, it adds that emotion, and they're holding it, they want this product. Um, going forward from there, it's really important as you're putting everything on the counter, as you're getting the sale ready to finalize and getting up for payment, you wanna make sure to alleviate the stress. Customers, after listing all these things, after all your pitching, that's about the point in which a customer is the most stressed at the whole time they're in your store. It's really important to make sure that when you're going forward after that, just talk about other things. Don't talk about their phone. Don't talk about your work. Talk about home. Talk about the weather. I just got back from California. I went to Universal Studios. The lines were long. It sucked. Have some and, fun, yeah. And, and you have some fun. You get them stressed. You know, they're not stressed out anymore. They're excited. They're happy to be talking with you. Then, important, important, important detail is with this bundle, people can be easily confused. If you're adding everything together, people think that they're paying for the phone at $50 a month. It's important to make sure the customer understands that they're paying for things separately. There's one last thing. Uh, it's just really important going forward that I think we understand 
what accessories make us the most money. It's really important that we're using what we have. We have Odoo, you can look up the GP on any item that we sell. Yeah, at WB, they send out um, a spreadsheet of accessories and how much revenue each one sends. Yeah. So the importance of looking at that, building your bundle around which makes you the most revenue. Um, one, one big thing to, to kind of wrap this up, last month, um, Brigham City, we were number four in WV, um, and I contributed directly to our accessory performance. We ended at 172% the goal, and that was just over $7,100 in accessory revenue. And I can't stress enough how important accessories are, and they directly correlate to making higher paychecks for um, leaders, for reps, for the company, so. not having the fear to, to pitch a $60 bundle instead of a, a $30 bundle with buying the case outright, right? It's getting over that first step of being scared as a, as a salesman um, and pitching the high bundle. I, just, I wanted to share all that with you guys. I hope to hear back and, and maybe see some of the techniques you guys have, whether it be activations or, or whatever you close best. I, I wanna hear about it because, you know, UTN has what it takes to be good and, and we just gotta start working towards it. Thank you. So yeah, thanks you guys. Yeah.